Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here at the DC Airport, Washington Reagan with the Welcome Veterans. America thanks you for your service banner. And I'm offended. Now I know I'm not supposed to be offended. I'm not supposed to be triggered by anything. And, and I, it's not so much that I'm offended because I don't, I don't really do that. I don't you know, use my emotional response to manipulate others. But I, I want to explain why I see this and have uh, at least a significant reaction. And it's not because there's anything wrong with the sentiment itself. You know, sure, welcome home veterans. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it's beautiful. But the reality behind it is what's offensive. And, and to, to just say this without acknowledging that, it, I'll, I'll tell you why this bothers me. When it says, America thanks you for your service. Like, w what is that thanks? Is it, is it the 22 veterans committing suicide today? Is it the higher unemployment rates? Is it all the other great consequences that we enjoy as veterans, the poor VA care, something like that? And you know, I've told this story myself before. Hey, you're a piece of shit. Just want to let you know, I served 32 years in the army. I watched my friends die. A simple thank you. So you can actually do this. Dude, I'm, I'm a Marine a Corps combat veteran. I, I, I'm talking know. about veterans' issues here. Do you have? A, you want to? You want to no, talk, or you just want? No, I don't. You want to make assumptions? You want to jump in and yeah, talk I trash? Jump in and talk trash to you because you're. A do, you, piece of shit. do you have a problem with 22 veterans committing suicide every day, sir? I don't. I'm trying have a to. You don't have a problem with that. <laughs> All right, see, there's the problem right there. We have a guy who wants to be offended, assume that I'm a liberal, and uh, say that he doesn't care about 22 veterans committing suicide every day. Well, great to have that cameo in the video. But when I went to the VA, when I got home, I told him I was having trouble sleeping, and I said, you know, I just, I want some help with this. I got five prescriptions in a brown paper bag, three of which had suicide listed as a side effect. So if you think that's the kind of like, yeah, we need it, that's, 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 we're doing a good job welcoming veterans home. No, we're not. And the thing is about veterans, we're people who risked our lives to defend this country. And the thing is, that's a noble intent. That's a beautiful sentiment that you start out with usually when you join the military. But the thing is, Having a military doesn't defend this country. It actually makes us less safe. This is what the founders advised, that we should not have any standing army at all. We should have a militia defense. We should rely on the more effective, more ethical, and reliable defense for this country. That we shouldn't have the government doing it. That like, if national defense is important, the last people we should trust it to is the government. So it's really important. If you really want to welcome veterans home, let's honor the founders. Let's dissolve the military entirely. Let's get back to the vision that they had for this country. Let's honor that core sentiment at the heart of that, which is putting your life on the line, being willing to put your life on the line to, to defend this country, defend your fellow Americans. Unfortunately, we don't have that reality today. We have a military that works for the government, the politicians who answer to all their you know corrupt corporate sponsors. So let's see, is my troll still hanging out? I got a real life troll just for standing up saying that I'm offended <laughs> by this as a veteran. And again, obviously he wasn't really listening. So I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe we'll go find him and uh, see if, uh, if, if we can have a more reasonable, intelligent conversation. But I suppose he just sort of underscores the point that I make in my speech now uh, almost every day, which is that we're going to be dealing with irrational, emotional people. And we have to be better than that. We have to be ready to be more loving, more compassionate, and more true to the message of freedom if we want to create a more free world. So even when, uh, when you meet a troll like that in real life, yeah, it happens. Again, you gotta, you gotta be there, you gotta stay centered in that love and talk to people about what's important. So, I don't know, uh, I don't know how to wrap this up. It was a little bit throwing me off. Anyway, mwah, peace, love, and freedom. Oh, excuse me, sir. You interrupted the video I was doing earlier, very rudely. I don't care. And, uh, I, you know, this, I, I, I prefer not to, to talk to you, okay? Well, I prefer not to have my video interrupted, but, you know, you interrupted me anyway, so, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can You're about have any to have more the of a cops conversation. On you. For doing, You're about to have the cops. For doing the same thing that you did. Oh, the seat next to you. You're in my space. All right, well, I'll just. And I don't want. I'll and I, right I here, forbid then. you from filming. Well, you're you're in a public space. You, you you were just talking about freedom. You were advocating for freedom, and now you're like against the First Amendment. You know, I mean, you were in the military. Here. Let's go up here and talk to TSA. You are, uh, you're gonna talk to TSA, okay? I'm gonna go find the. All right, so gonna, he's gonna, so. He's gonna go run and try to report me to the government. I'm just gonna let him have fun with that. We'll see how that goes. Well, I make a graceful exit here, hopefully, and get on my shuttle to get to my gate. Really sad that there are people like this in the world. 
I guess that's a big part of what we're up against. Hey everybody, I just want to do a little quick follow-up to that last clip. <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss with this guy. Oh, my flight's about to leave here, so I've only got a minute, but if anybody can identify this person, uh, please do. Uh, his face is in the video. He was in the DC area today at the Washington Reagan Airport on uh, Friday the 13th of October 2017. And he claims to be a 30 something year army veteran. I have a hard time believing that. I mean, it's sort of like he seemed more of a Dick Cheney, chicken hawk type, just if I had to, if I had to guess. First of all, anybody that the US military has reasonably successfully trained for combat doesn't have so little self-control and self-discipline as that gentleman displayed. Most of them are not the kind of, uh, I don't know which P word to use, who uh, would immediately run to the cops with a verbal conflict that is not even escalating that just like straight up turns to violence of government to say, let's resolve this with with the TSA and of, of all the people he doesn't say let's talk to airport police he says let's go to the TSA I, I, I don't know what else, what, what else to say about this guy it's it's kind of tough when you see such disgusting unethical anti-freedom behavior on display and it's really disappointing from someone who claims to be a veteran but again you know I doubt it he's if, if he did was if, if, if he was in the army he was probably a paper pusher you know probably not combat arms or anything like that um, but obviously someone who has severe emotional issues probably severe mental health problems I hope uh, he's not getting therapy through the VA or on psychotropics from the VA that could be an explanation for his erratic behavior but um, you know, I hope that, sir, if you're watching this, because I know this video is going to find you eventually, I hope you get the help you need. I hope you get your eyes open to the reality of government and war and peace and the military and America and what Americanism is really all about. This country was founded by overthrowing the world's biggest empire in the pursuit of freedom. We have now become the world's biggest empire, and it's time to overthrow it again.